pray especially for those that are affected by the virus that have been uh, affected personally and they've been affected economically by it. We just pray that you'll be with us, with this county and with this city and with this nation as we continue to, to, uh, to battle this virus. We know that you're in charge of all things and you'll take care of us. We're thankful for that and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next, we need to approve the agenda of the meeting. Mr. Chairman, before we uh, approve it, I, I seen a couple on there and I can't spot them just yet. Let me check and see. Uh, let's see. Number 12 and 13. Uh, can we uh, strike those and put them in the work session meeting? We have not discussed anything there. I'd like to, please. We could. Uh, number 12 is just. Uh, it's a resolution that we were asked to do. It's a, a task force that was created. All that's doing is asking, encouraging citizens you know, to wear them. It, it, it ain't mandating them to wear them. It's just uh, encouraging them to be safe. Right. Right. Well, I knew we hadn't discussed that. I mean, that's just a proper procedure. I think anybody would go that route and be safe and try to avoid it if they could. So. And I'm not sure on number 13 when that has to be done. Um, it was something we got from the ACCA. It just has to be somebody on this, off the commission. It has to be on that, or needs to be on that committee. And if the commission don't do it, then they'll appoint somebody off this commission for sale. They appointed me last time. Yes. So, uh, who is it now? Me. I mean, you. Well, I mean, I served this year. Melinda right. served. Yeah, I served. Last time. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I just didn't understand them. I mean, it was two new ones, so, okay. Yeah, it was, like I said, it was the last minute, like I said, it is. Number 12, oh, it's just something we were asked to do by the uh, uh, COVID-19 task force here in Jackson County. And like I said, it's just a promotion they're doing Okay. to keep Jackson County citizens safe. Not saying yay or nay. It's just a resolution to encourage, but citizens. Yeah, it's not mandating anything. Okay. It's just a resolution to encourage people to wear a mask and be safe. Well, all right, I'm just looking down on them and nothing I've been addressed. All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone. All right. Is, can I get a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make that motion. Got a motion? I'll second the motion. And a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? We have no awards presentation. Uh, did anybody sign up to speak? We'll move right on to new business. First, we have a motion to approve change in the commission's meeting and work sessions to the second and fourth Mondays of the month. Agenda structure will be a meeting followed by a work session. Uh, this is due to the COVID-19 uh, social distancing, trying to uh, limit the amount of uh, exposure that everybody's getting. We still have the same amount of meetings uh, in a month that we would, but what we'll do is we'll have a meeting, and tonight, following this meeting, we'll have a work session, and then everybody will have two weeks to look at all the information, and then before we have our next meeting, and then a work session right behind it. Now, we're about to move back into school time when I had asked for us to be at 4.30, and we went temporary 3.30. How is that going to affect that? Just have to I'd like to see us go back to 4.30, so. That would to be a motion made. Like to go back 4:30 myself. I mean, if everybody's okay with it. Yeah, it's your work time, yeah. you guys. I'm good at 4:30. I'll make the motion. Step back up to 4:30. So you want to add? Yeah, if we're looking at two weeks out, then Until first of August is when school's planning anyway. So. Uh, Another question on it, Mr. Chairman. We have never lived through these times that we're living in. 
if we see a desperate need of something needs to have a call meeting that's not on one of these days, is it going to be appropriate where we can? If it's an emergency, we can call a meeting, but you're still getting the same amount of meetings in this way as if you did. I, I understand that, but I mean, I don't want to neglect some something if it needs to be brought to the table. That's what but I'm saying. We, we've never had an issue with, no. I mean, you can always bring an emergency meeting if something comes no. up. And this really won't change what we're currently doing. I mean, we're currently second and fourth as our meeting, right. a regular meeting. Just First start. and third is uh, work, session. work session. We just moved the work sessions back one mm -hmm. week. Each uh, meeting will be longer. I understand uh, that. The meantime, we do the meeting and the work session. We're still getting the number of meetings in a month. And this, you know, this could be just during the COVID crisis, you know, where right. we can keep it for, you know, this way from now on, it don't matter to me, just whatever's okay with everybody. All right, so we got a motion to approve changing commission meetings and work sessions to the second and fourth Mondays of the month. The agenda strip will be meeting followed by a work session and add change of meeting to 4.30. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Uh, number two will be discussing the tier one retirement. Uh, everybody should be acquainted with this. We sent it out for the last few weeks. Uh, the information on the cost of it and what it's going to do to hopefully retain employees. Did you get any feedback from department heads or employees on how they? We we sent an email out, but I'm not. Did you receive any back on the tier one from any department heads on the email you sent out? I have. I've heard from employees and department heads. I've not had any negative feedback. Um, the department heads and employees just don't want to I'll make the motion that we adopt that. Before we go that right there, just a minute, I want to ask a question. I, hadn't, I didn't read it in the newspaper, but I had a phone call, and I feel like... Uh, Mr. Chairman, it was probably a mistake because I think the way they said it was stated, it would be 20, 29902 is what Michelle had told us per year. Is that correct? Well, it's not per year. It could fluctuate a little, going up and down, depending on how many tier one or tier two have employees. Right. Okay. So it should be a, around the store. Kind of average figure. Okay, I think the sentinel that you may have stated, it said something about pay periods. I said, I feel like that was a just mistake. I said, we get paid 26 times a year. If that was the case, it'd be three quarters of a million dollars. What it is, is it is based upon, that's the yearly, but it is based upon pay period. Depending okay. on which employees you got, but that's what the yearly average would be. Well, I told them, I said, I didn't read it, but I said, that's not correct, because that'd be three quarters of a million dollars, you know, when I add it up. I said, I know we're not bringing anything like that to the table. I, yeah. Okay. I felt like it was a mistake. That's why I just wanted to address it and make sure I understood it. All right, so we got a motion by Mr. Edward, a second by Ms. Oh, yes. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. All opposed. Number three, it'll be a motion to approve and sign the MOA with the city of Stevenson for the 2020 municipal election. I make that motion. I'll second it. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. All opposed. Motion carries. Net, number four be a motion to approve and appoint two members to the 911 board. Term set to expire in 2024. Uh, if you'll look in your folder. First one you come to should be the 911 stack. I'll make, I'll make mo Go ahead, Justin. Need nominations. I nominate uh, uh, Kevin Swain. And I nominate uh, Greg Godfrey. For reappointment. Godfrey. Yeah. All right, any more nominations? Yeah, 
Any more nominations? All right. So on um, Mr. Venable's nomination on Kevin Swain, uh, you got a nomination, so we need to get a second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? You know, Ms. Gilbert's nomination of Mr. Godfrey. I'll second, second. Mr. Godfrey. Uh, Mr. Ridge. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Number five be a motion to approve and appoint members to the EDA board's uh, term set to expire in 2024 as well. I make a motion to uh, appoint Miss Claire Porter to that board. And I'll second that. Well, let me get the nominations first, Miss Gilfield. Okay. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. Um, any more nominations? Need two positions? No, just one. Just one. one. Just one. Okay. Any more nomination? This one here is on the 911 board right now, right? Swain. Yeah. 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 He's on here too. Okay. Any more nominations for the EDA board? Uh, we got a motion by Mr. Venable. Second. Second by Miss Gilbert. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Number six be a motion to approve select the geotechnical consultant for the County Road 189. Mr. Campbell, if you could, I know you weren't able to be here with us last week. Um, maybe take a few minutes to explain about this selection. Thank you, Chairman, Commissioners. Um, I'll be working from the sheet that's going around now. So this should have been included in the email that I sent out to all of you. Yeah. And probably the last attachment. Talking a little bit about the attachments in that email. First was a request for proposal that we sent out that was kind of the framework, uh, established the scope of work, detailed what we expected uh, as far as a submittal, and uh, listed evaluation criteria and um, how we would rate that criteria in choosing. So in those responses, there were three options that we had, and each of those were in full report in the email I sent. So one, two, and three are listed in this comparison sheet. And I will, I can, I can answer any questions about any of the options or about any of the reports you've read. Um, but I thought I would concentrate on our recommendation and um, compare as we work through that some to the other options. So our, our recommendation is option two, and that's the middle of the sheet that, that uh, was passed out. And I'll start at the bottom and kind of work up. The reason for that is that top evaluation criteria is really a summary of the others. So looking at experience on that, we chose option two on experience because of spe specific projects in dealing with the geologic condition that exists on 189, the formations. This consultant has present and past projects in dealing with this exact geologic formation. Uh, there's some specifics that are detailed in their report uh, under the experience portion of that that uh, you can find more information on. Comparatively, uh, the next best option, they listed some professionals that they would obligate to the project, but the projects listed uh, were somewhat similar, and that was the uh, closest, closest relation to experience to air condition we feel that exists on County Road 189. Uh, moving up next to the, the next category is mitigation recommendations. So uh, what they provide to us in mitigation is excellent in detail. They even reference sinkhole and talk about mitigation of groundwater presence and moving the hydraulics through some of their areas. It's, rec it's recognizable by what they say, that they understand that there's gonna be sinkholes to deal with as well as mitigating all the water that exists. The next is schedule. I think that uh, we've listed in the notes there what each one would look like putting together the reference amount of time that they provide on mobilization to the site, time to do the geophysical work, time to do the geotechnical work, then analysis and reporting, and by the time we would actually see the report and the project complete. 
estimated cost. And let me let me be clear on this category. So um, this is a projected cost, an estimated cost on the project. It's not an exact number or dollar figure based on fee schedules that we call call for and ask for a low a low price on. Okay. There's multi disciplines involved in this. For example, the geotechnical component. There'll be site ac access work to be done. There'll be surveying work. There'll be lab work, analysis, and reporting. So it's multi-disciplines involved in getting this whole scope of work pulled together for the finished product we're after. So that's what an estimated cost represents in, in this. Methodology, um, that is basically a summary of all these things. And we made some notes on the three different categories, but primarily highlighting the option we're choosing. You can see the other notes there. There are, in reading these, it's evident, and you, you probably recognize it as well, on the ones that visited the site and the ones that didn't visit the site. There's one for sure I can tell you was at the site and looked at it by what they put in there in the specifics. So much so that they were able to reduce some of the scope that we had identified. It's, it's particular in the survey component of this, but they were able to reduce it based on their site visit. That's the kind of things we're looking for uh, when we go into this thing is expertise in guiding us. So that's what that note references. And then details confirm on-site investigation. Okay, you can, you can tell by the information that is placed in this report, they've gone out, they've studied the site, and they've dialed in their presentation and their proposal on how to, how to give us the information we're after. So it's for those reasons, and you can see the weighted average, that we end up with um, option two as the leader in how we evaluated that. Are there any are there any questions about the information in the reports or the summary sheet we provided? No, sir. Thank you. Between option two and option three, I had talked to you a week or so ago, and didn't you say there was um, one of them did not allow for some equipment rental or something in their proposal, and the other one did? So there's a Yes, sir. That's, that's correct. So there's a there's a little lower estimated cost to option three. Um, there was a note in there that that site access they felt would be a challenge, and they did not include equipment rental to gain access with that ATV drill drill rig. Option two, same thing, but they included that. So without without total comparison of apples to apples on the numbers and costs there. We don't know, but it's safe to assume that the estimated cost for option three does not include site access. Right. Any other questions? Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. I make the motion to um, accept the option two, the S and ME. I'll, I'll second that motion. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Number seven be a motion to approve sending a letter to the Jackson County, Jackson DeKalb Water Supply District asking them to move the water line on the bridge on County Road 91. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Number eight. There'll be a motion to approve and sign the COVID-19 policy and procedure for the RPT program with Council on Aging. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Number nine, there'll be a motion to approve and sign the supplemental agreement, number two, with the Alabama De Department of Transportation for Council on Aging. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Number 10 will be a motion to approve and sign the substance abuse policy for council on aging. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Number 11 will be a motion to accept hiring committee's recommendation of Jennifer Lust for the vacant custodian position with the maintenance department. I'll make the motion. Or Got a motion. I'll second the motion. And a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? 
Number 12 would be a motion to, to approve and sign resolution encouraging citizens to wear masks and social distance. I'll make that motion. Got a motion? Just since this is just encouragement, it's not it that is. big of a deal. Yes, it is by I'll, no means mandatory. It's just to, to encourage them. I'll second the motion for encouragement only. Got a motion. And a not second. mandatory. Not right. Mandatory. It's just right. encouragement. Not mandatory. Right. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Number 13, it would be a motion to nominate a commission member to the legislative committee with ACCA. If you're not familiar with it, basically they have, uh, I mean, it changes every year. I don't know what this COVID is going to do. Yeah. But they have meetings. It's basically what the state ACCA uh, deems to be, the, the, it's important to them uh, to get bills passed, not local legislation, but statewide legislation that the ACCA works on. And they, they have a group each year that, a committee that meets to decide what that's going to be. Do they meet quarterly or do they meet prior to the legislative session? Uh, they just quarterly, met. But. Well, most of the time, they have one big meeting, uh, the time that was Muscle Shoals, I believe, uh, the state park over that area um, was the time. And then also you meet at the other uh, convention. And then they may call, if there's something special they're trying to push, they may call something. But okay. those are the two that they pretty one much insist. Shows, is it normally it can go from across the state. That was just yeah. where it happened to be held. Yeah, it the time changes I went. every bit. What time of year is it? Uh, December. Winter time. Or winter. winter. All of them. Yes, I want to say fall. Late I'm going to nominate Mr. Late Danny November, Rich, December. He got, he got time in the winter time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Going to nominate who? Danny Rich. All right. We've got a nomination for Danny. I'll second that nomination. And a second. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. I'll All opposed. All right. All right. Number 14, be a motion to accept the hiring committee's recommendation of Dylan Summerford for the vacant HMT2 position for the Public Works Department. I'll, I'll make the motion. I'll second the motion. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Number 15, it'd be a motion to accept hiring committee's recommendation of Zachary Davis for the vacant HMT3 position for the Public Works Department. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Number 16, be a motion to accept hiring committee's recommendation of Austin Cormick for the vacant temporary labor position for the public works department. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Number 17, it'll be a motion <clears throat> to approve and extend the county's engineer's current contract for three months until we can hmm. i'll make that motion i'll second motion and a second all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. all opposed aye. number 18 be a motion to accept hiring committee's recommendation of samantha swinford for the vacant motor vehicle technician position with the revenue commissioner's office tag and title department i'll make that motion i'll second it Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. All right, that concludes our uh, meeting portion. Um, I need uh, somebody to make a motion to take just a five minute recess. While I'll make we a motion. Continue. We'll take a five minute recess. I'll second that. And then we'll come back into the work session. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed.